I'm community correspondent Paul Giorgio along the shores of the Indian River, where researchers are collecting oysters as part of a study into oyster reproduction. So why is that so important? Let's find out. We know that oysters have been in this area and been part of the human diet in this area for over a thousand years, which is really cool. Hope Leonard has her eyes on the past. They are amazing creatures. But her focus is on the future. You know, every little bit helps. She's knee deep in the Indian River, where hope isn't just her name, it's what drives her. Yes, you always have to have hope. That is my name, and uh, gotta live by it. The Conservation Restoration Coordinator with Restore Our Shores is leading a year-long survey of oyster health in the river. 72. Oyster reefs once covered much of the Indian River Lagoon. To the right. But over-harvesting and declining water quality have drastically reduced oyster populations and reef structures. Thank you. As part of the study. Got all that good lagoon algae on there. Leonard and her team place clean oyster shells in the water monthly to attract oyster larvae called spat. This was blank when we put it out, so it would look like this. The spat settle on the shells and grow into new oysters. And then if you look here, we have an oyster here, here, here. It's looking like there's a little bit less than 40 on here. So just on this side, and then if you turn it over, there's even more. Good news for a river system that's struggled with nutrient pollution and algae blooms. So why is what's happening here so important? Well, studies show one oyster, little guy like this, can filter 50 gallons of water in one day. Now imagine what tens of thousands can do over time. Can we actually see like where the where the water would come in and where it would come out? So and it comes we, out, it comes in dirty and goes out clean. So we actually can. You can kind of see this opening here. So this shell is no long doesn't no longer has an oyster in it. But they would open just very very slightly like mm -hmm. that, pull in water, and then they would digest it, and then they would push the water out through their siphon and that water would come out free of algae and nutrients. Clean and clear. Clean and clear. Leonard says it will take more than oysters to return the river to what it once was. But with a little hope, we'll get there. I do think that being hopeful can really just help move and progress you for forward with your ideas and your mentality. And I think it can help to make you more creative in looking for solutions. In Palm Bay, Paul Giorgio, News 6.